Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add bots to your Discord server. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So before we get too far into today's video, I want to mention I'm only going to be showing you the bot adding process. I'm not going to be creating a server from scratch or anything else like that. I do have a previous video where I show you how to create a server from scratch. I'll be leaving a card on screen and I'll be linking that in the description down below. Today's video is only going to be focusing on the bot. So the first thing we need to do to add a bot to our Discord server is to find a bot that we want to use with the features that we need. So that's why we're going to be coming to this website. I'll be leaving links in this in the description down below. And here we can find lists of all different Discord bots. We have a search function on top if you know a bot specifically you're looking for and we can also search by different categories here and there's a bunch of different tags available that we can explore so if you want specific things or you want specific services that will be a great way to find exactly what you need now finding a bot that has everything you need can be a little bit overwhelming so don't worry about finding just one magical bot it is possible to add multiple bots to your discord server but a website like this helps narrow it down so you can see exactly the features each bot has and you can see different things so one of the most popular bots out there right now is me6 and it probably offers some of the most basic functions and i'd recommend starting with this if you've never used any bots before some of the features include welcoming new people to your discord channel and you can customize this to say exactly what you want when new people join you can add levels to users in your discord channel depending on how many messages and how much they interact in the server you can add different automated actions depending on what users do and you can even set up live notifications for when people go live on twitch or discord and you can do a bunch of different things with this bot that i'd really recommend checking out and this is one of the most common and basic bots you can have however if we go back to our list there's a lot of different things such as poke Accord, where you can actually catch Pokemon in your server. There's different meme bots. There's thousands of different things out there. So really, I'd recommend getting started with kind of the most common ones up here at the top. You can see the most used based on how many servers they're in and then kind of figure out the little niche bots, seeing what you need and then kind of go step by step. In this case, like I mentioned before, I would recommend the Me6 bot to start. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install this bot specifically into your Discord server. Some of these might vary a little bit, but I explain how to do that exactly. So underneath each bot, you can see we can view and we'll have the option to invite. Me6 is one of the few ones on here that doesn't have an invite option but we can still really easily add this to our server so normally once you find a bot you like you can simply click invite here and you'll then be brought to the bot page and then all you need to do is click invite one more time and then you'll be able to add the bot to your server directly in this case for me six we do actually have to click on the page first which is going to bring us to the website of me six specifically from here we'll then have the option to add the discord so some bots on this website will actually link to their own website first and that's where you add the bot to your discord server rather than adding it directly from the previous website so you can see if a bot does not have the invite button here it means you'll be brought to their website specifically so this is something to keep in mind it will vary slightly from adding a bot here so once you found a bot you're happy with and you want to add it all you need to do is click add to discord right here and then you're going to have to log into your discord account so once you've logged in you'll then have to authorize the bot access to your account you'll see the different information it can get here simply click authorize and then you'll be able to choose which server you want to add the bot to in this case you'll see all available servers that you have access to add bots in this case i'm going to be adding it to my test server although you can add it to any server you're an admin or create of. Once you select your server, you'll get one more pop-up. You'll then get to make sure that you have the right server selected. In this case, I'm going to be keeping it on my test server. Click continue. You'll then see all the available roles and permissions this bot will have. Here you can choose which you want to keep and which you want to remove. In most cases, as long as you pick an active bot that a lot of people are using, you don't have to worry about all the permissions you're giving them. Although if you don't want to give everything, you don't have to in this case. In most cases, you will need to give at least administrator. However, you can add and remove roles as you wish. In this case, for me six, I'm going to be keeping everything here. Once you're happy with all the permissions click authorize you may have to enable a captcha if it comes up simply click this and then the bot will be added to the server now depending on the bot you choose and depending on the server you add it to it may take a couple minutes or a couple of hours for your bot to be added so keep this in mind and be patient in most cases it may take some time before your bot is actually added now if i come to my server i can see me6 has been added here really quickly and you can see he's got the bot tag here and he's a verified bot now one thing i would recommend is adding a role specifically for bots so we can separate them from other players in this case you can see they actually have the bot tag here as well however if we add a role as you can see i'm already inside a test role specifically for bots it just separates them a bit easier so you can categorize them to do this what we can do is click on our server on the top left come to our server settings click on roles what we're going to be doing is creating a new role i'm going to be naming this bots give it a color if you wish and what we're going to be doing is making sure display role members separately from online members click save and then your bot role will be added and then we're going to be giving this new role to our bot that we just created and as you can see they're going to be separated here with bots and here you can add all the different bots you have for discord now you may be 
you're wondering now actually how to use your discard bot and this is going to vary from bot to bot they'll have different commands and different syntaxes you need to use to actually activate those commands in this case you'll have to go to the documentation for your specific bots if i go to me6 after i installed him i'll see the different commands and announcements here on the actual page for him so you need to go back to the bots page and look for the different commands or sometimes it will be mentioned in discord in their online status it depends on the bot you install and how you use it so in this case if i come back to the bots web page i can click on the help option and here you can see it's explanation mark help to see a list of all available commands so if i go back to my discord server i can click explanation mark help and then you can see all the different plugin commands for my actual me6 i can do levels music record and search and depending on what your bot actually does, you'll be able to do different things here. And then you'll be able to access all the commands. So some bots use explanation mark, some bots use minus, and depending on the bot you have, they'll use different things. And just like that, you're able to install bots on Discord. And it's really worth experimenting with different bots to make your server more interactive. Anyway, guys, it's that easy to install bots on Discord. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm gonna be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you wanna support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And the next time, as always, Keep it saucy. Peace.